Since mankind has sent satellites and crafts into space, crucial discoveries have been sprouting that has altered and improved our general knowledge. One groundbreaking discovery was made by the Hubble Space Telescope, in fact, which is changing the way we look at our own solar system. This discovery introduces a tenth planet, which is said to be even larger than the dwarf planet Pluto. Keep watching until the end of this video as we take a focus on the Hubble Space Telescope confirming the 10th planet discovery. You don't want to miss this. Welcome to Space Infinity. The Hubble Telescope. Since its launch in 1990, no other scientific apparatus of the modern era has provided more dazzling data and images of the unknown realm of outer space than the Hubble Space Telescope. Often referred to as the HST or simply Hubble, the Hubble Space Telescope is one of the most versatile instruments of modern science. It was launched into low Earth orbit in 1990 and continues to be in operation today. Since then, it has become renowned as a vital research tool that has invigorated interest towards astronomy. Despite its age and only modest size, the Hubble Space Telescope remains to be one of the best telescopes in the world, with its impeccable images of space that provides us a deeper understanding of how the universe works. While its 2.4-meter Hubble mirror is relatively average for modern-day research telescopes, it consistently outperforms many of the most advanced ground-based telescopes and is still the modern standard for optical and ultraviolet astronomy. Hubble currently orbits the Earth at about 332 miles, or 535 kilometers, above the Earth's surface, completing one orbit around the planet every 95 minutes. Throughout its three-decade history, the Hubble telescope has covered a distance equivalent to a trip to Neptune, traveling at a speed of 17,500 miles per hour. Hubble has peered back into the very distant past, to locations more than 13.4 billion light years from Earth, and has made more than 1.3 million observations since its mission began in 1990. Among its major contributions to science is our understanding of the age of the universe, now known to be 13.8 billion years, as well as the discovery that nearly every major galaxy is anchored by a supermassive black hole at its center. While many of its discoveries provide some answers to the greater mystery of the unknown regions of space, it has also made significant findings closer to home, such as the discovery of the two moons of Pluto, named Nix and Hydra. And as Hubble allows us to peer into sites unknown, it seems that it has also made a remarkable discovery that our solar system has a tenth planet in it. The tenth planet. There are many planetary systems all around the universe, with planets orbiting its very own host star. Our planetary system, which we call the solar system, is located in an outer spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. It consists of our star, the Sun, with its gravitationally bound planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. While Pluto may have been the last planet in older registers, the International Astronomical Union downgraded the status of Pluto to that of a dwarf planet back in 2006. Aside from these major planets, there are several dwarf planets, dozens of moons, and millions of asteroids, comets, and meteorites located within our solar system. And while this downgrade of Pluto in 2006 may have been the most recent update on our understanding of the solar system, recent discoveries made by the Hubble Space Telescope has confirmed that there could possibly be another planet located within the boundaries of our Sun's territory. In 2005, a team led by American astronomer Mike Brown using the Palomar Observatory in San Diego, California, discovered what seemed to be the most massive and the second largest known dwarf planet in our solar system. Brown and his team had been studying images taken from the observatory two years prior, back in 2003, as they had been systematically scanning larger outer solar system bodies for several years. It was marked with a designation 2003-UB313, a nicknamed Xena, before officially naming the dwarf planet as Eris, after the Greco-Roman goddess of strife and discord in 2006. The image of Eris was not immediately discovered when the images were acquired in 2003 due to its very slow motion across the sky, since the instruments that they were using had an automatic image searching software that excluded all objects moving at less than 1.5 arc seconds per hour to reduce the number of false positive images. When the data was reanalyzed in 2005, it revealed the unknown dwarf planet's motion against the background of stars beyond the farther reaches of space. This led the team to conduct follow-up observations to determine Eris's orbit and to determine an estimation of the object's distance. It was revealed 
that Eris had a distance of 14.41 billion kilometers or 8.95 billion miles away from the Sun, more than three times that of Neptune or Pluto, and is located within the Kuiper Belt, a dark realm beyond Neptune, where thousands of small icy bodies float around in space orbiting our Sun. During its initial analysis, Eris seemed to be typical of most Kuiper Belt objects, except for the fact that it was much bigger. So much bigger, in fact, that early speculation led to the understanding that Eris might have been much larger than Pluto and could indeed stand ground to be included as a planet within our solar system. According to Brown, their initial analysis and measurements of the planet's brightness allowed them to surmise that Eris's diameter may be more than 30% the size of Pluto, with Pluto itself being 1,422 miles wide. However, these ground-based observations were later refuted after the Hubble Space Telescope conducted observations of its own, taken in December 2005. This look-see towards Eris's direction revealed that it had a diameter of 1,490 miles, making it only slightly larger than Pluto. Further focus on this mysterious 10th planet conducted in 2010 and 2011 would later reveal that it actually had a spherical diameter of 1,445 miles but had a mass much larger of about 27% more than Pluto. This finding revealed that Eris was substantially denser than Pluto and as such must be composed largely of rocky materials. This is incredible to note, considering that it's located 14 billion miles from Earth with a diameter of a little more than half the width of the United States. In fact, the object itself is a mere 1.5 pixels across in Hubble's view. And if you'd think those findings represent the scientific community's most definitive consensus, the corresponding data would once again be refuted in 2015, nearly 10 years after Eris had been considered the ninth largest object directly orbiting the Sun, when close-up imagery of the interplanetary space probe New Horizons revealed more accurately that Pluto's volume is larger than Eris's, even if only slightly. To date, Eris is considered the 10th largest object known to directly orbit the Sun by volume, while it remains to be the ninth largest by mass, making it larger in mass than Pluto. Further studies revealed through models of internal heating via radioactive decay that Eris could possibly have an internal ocean of liquid water within its mantle core boundary. Infrared analysis also suggests the presence of methane ice which indicate that Eris's surface may be similar to that of Pluto. Since Eris is located almost 9 billion miles away from the Sun, you can expect it to be incredibly cold, at negative 405 to 358 degrees Fahrenheit, in fact. Eris is far enough from the Sun that methane condenses onto its surface, providing an appearance of a white planet. It has also been revealed that Eris has a moon in orbit around it named Dysnomia. As for its orbit within our solar system, it takes roughly about 560 years for Eris to orbit the Sun and is currently nearing its aphelion point, or the point of an object's orbit that is farthest from the Sun. What this discovery means The discovery of a potential planet-sized object within our system may seem complicated, especially with the ongoing debate of Pluto's planetary status still echoing among scientific communities. But one thing's for sure. Finding out that there's certainly more we can discover within our own solar system's backyard is as invigorating to astronomy as when Galileo discovered four moons revolving around Jupiter back in 1610. Backyard astronomers with large telescopes can even see this new planet, even if it is just a dim speck of light at visual magnitude 19, moving rather slowly against the starry background of deep space. To those interested to spot this new discovery, it is almost directly overhead in the early morning eastern sky near the constellation Cetus, allowing you to spot one of the most recent heavenly body discoveries in human history. So what do you think about the Hubble Space Telescope and its discoveries? Let us know in the comments below. Space Infinity will continue to deliver the latest news on the vast oceans of space and all its new discoveries. So tap that like button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.